welcome to Lisa's Art Room. Tonight I decided to just have a little unscheduled live and finish up this journal. I had some time and I really wanted to get it in the mail, so I'm just going to finish this up by sewing in the signatures. So y'all join me if you're around. If not, you can catch the replay. I'm going to pull everybody up on my chat just in case anybody jumps on. Like I said, it's un it's unscheduled, so I understand if nobody does. But you got to do stuff when you got time, so <laughs> I had time. Let me see if I can find this live. I started out up top, so it's a little different, but I think it'll be all right as long as it's good. Well, hello, Dawn. All right. Well, that's working. I wanted to get this out in the mail to you, girl. <laughs> it's like been so long in the making. Just try to get this other device up. Typed out a little thing with all of the things I used. Just going to go in there. Hey, Nancy. The candle's being slow. Hey, Deborah. Still trying to get this one up phone up quick tonight but not the Kindle. All right, there we go. Right, let's see if that loads. Should be good. All right, so like I said, I'm just going to sew in the signatures. Hopefully it goes all right. This is going to be, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a little bit of a challenging one because of the fabric and everything. I think I can do it. <laughs> I better be able to do it, right? But we're going to use a blacker thread. That's dark gray. I think that's the darkest I have. Yeah. All right. Take this tassel off. I did change up the tassel a little bit. Um, like I said, when I made it, I didn't like that long piece I had right there so I put a little bit of a shorter one on there and I just think it, it fits a little bit better so a tiny change right there okay so we're just gonna pull that off Let's see. Uh, which one do we want? Uh oh, my volume's up. <laughs> I can hear myself talking. Where is it coming from? Is it coming from my Kindle? Oh, it is. Kindle's supposed to be muted, but I guess it unmuted itself. All right, let's go with that one, I think. So you just want a needle thread, but you don't want it to be necessarily wider than the body of the needle. You want it to be kind of straight there. Sometimes they're fatter on the end and you don't, you don't want that. this wax thread and I put you so I don't lose you. Back in there. I'm not sure enough we'll lose it. Sorry about all the crinkling. Alright, and then I need my little foam piece for punching holes. I have my bills sitting here. 
was doing my taxes, which I hate. One of my least favorite things in the world to do. All right, let's see. So first thing I do is I take out all of the stuff, <laughs> which I could have done ahead of time, but you know, sometimes there are new viewers and I like to show everybody all the steps so that they know. So that's the first thing I do. I label things with little notes, little sticky notes. And this just helps me to know where to put things back. So this, I don't really need a label. I know where that goes and I know where that goes. So I'll pull those out. I'm just going to make a pile here somewhere. Right there. This is what we're going to use today. And we're just going to pull out all the stuff that will get in my way while I'm sewing in the signatures. So what I do is pull out the item and I just mark it with a letter. Okay, so I know that goes there. And then I just start a pile. And you now this just works for me. If I want to be frugal, I could cut these into smaller pieces or something, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. It's going to get too close. Let's put it over here. And it doesn't take a real long time. And all these little guys are going to be, I don't know, They'll, they would stay, I just don't know. I think I'll, I'll leave those. They're not going to move. I'm not real worried about them. So we'll leave those. I think they'll be alright. The things that are going to wiggle around, that's, that's the things I'm most concerned about. It's a little bit tedious, probably watching and boring. But it does work. It's a good method for doing this if you want to just have it easy when you go to put your stuff back in because otherwise it can be kind of challenging. Figuring out where you had things and, you know, ideally you had them in a good spot, so... Why not keep them there? And if I run out of um, letters, I just start doubling the letter or something. Or you can use numbers. It doesn't really matter. have the little mini ones, but I don't have a lot of those right now. I need to buy another pack of them. Trying to go fast. This one's definitely bulky. I don't know how it'll bulky, so I might move it just because it's bulky. It's really bulky. <laughs> you know how crazy it was. Let's see. Um, I'm not worried about that there. I'm kind of close, so I'm going to come on this side. Might just add 
tags to my J pile. I'll take this one out too. Might clip all those together. It's a lot. I'll never remember where they go back in their little thing. I think I got them all. Yeah, should be all right. Here, maybe I'll, I'm gonna use that to kind of see if it'll hold that down somewhat. And this one, I just want to make sure it's in the center where I want it. I kind of want it below that. I'll try to make sure it's right. And then always check when you've got something like that. Check the other side too, because you may have had a different idea for it on the other side. You never know. I think about like that. So we're going to want that. I've never had an issue with this, these sticky notes sticking to anything. Like they don't, it doesn't like get stuck. All right, so there's that one. A lot of stuff in here. parchment paper. I think this is the most tedious part of it. <laughs> and stuff out so that we can get ready to sew in these signatures. A lot of stuff. Alright, this one definitely. I know exactly where that goes. It's not questionable. This one's just paper clipped. What letter was I on P? O P Q. Hey Sue. Oops. You don't realize about how much stuff you have until you start going through. I'm going to pick you our... That's, I think that's just... Um, yeah, it's, I'm just going to leave that paper clip on there. That should be fine. It doesn't really come off, so... Okay, almost on this one. There's one thing there. And that's not going to stick to that. We're just going to stick it over here. All right, signature two. And signature three. So we're going to be doing a five hole pamphlet stitch today just because I think it holds nice and secure for a journal of this size. And like I said, 
said, we're gonna, I'm going to use this black thread just because I want it to hide on that lace, kind of. I keep dropping my pencil. Let's see. Oops, wrong side. Won't stick on that side. do X and Y like that. So I'm gonna which way these go because I put the sunflower I put the B under the honeycomb so it's kind of obvious to me. And Z I like this one. This one's pretty. I like the way this tag turned out. It's very subtle, but it's, it's just pretty. And that's probably in a good spot. I think I want it to be, I don't know, I think just centered. I think it'll be good. That grid paper is a little shorter than all the other papers, so I might play with that. These, ooh. These. Do I think they're going to move? I honestly don't think they'll move. I don't think they'll fall out. It's a, it's a lot to pull out. So I think what I'm going to do, I am just going to use my really, really low tack tape. And I'm just going to secure these down just so they don't move around too much. If I start having issues with them, I'll pull them out, but I think it'll be all right if I just mostly secure them. take that one. I think it'll be all right. There's a little tag there, but it's pretty well in there. Oh, that's good too. This is secured, so should be okay. All right. Now to get everything to fit right, let's scooch this under here. All right. So you just want to make sure that all your pages are even and down and that they are the right direction and things like that. So this is how I'm going to put them in. They're so much thinner guys, so much thinner. So I'm just going to kind of take a peek and make sure everything looks like it's where I want it. I only had that couple of pieces of paper that were off center like this this handmade paper so not a lot All right, and then we're going to be punching the center hole so I am going to secure these with clips what clips am I going to use today I wonder if I have enough of these these are just so bulky mm, I don't know let me see
no matter what I use, it always gets, it almost always catches on the thread. You can use gator clips. You don't have to clip. I like to clip because I think it just sits easier. So what I'm doing is just making sure that it's seated. So I'm making sure that everything is down into the part where the signature is. And I'm just going to put these on here temporarily for right now. I'll do these as I come to them. Actually, I want to do the I want to do the back one first. So I'm going to do I'll go ahead and do these cuz do I have enough clips? No, I'm running out of clips. I don't know where I put them all. They're attached to something somewhere. All over my house probably. All right, we'll just do the back one for now. So I don't have enough clips. So I start at the back and work my way forward because I just find that a little bit easier for sewing them in for some reason. So by the middle. And when I'm seating these and I'm putting the clips, I don't want it flat when I'm putting the clips because what happens? Okay, this is seated. Okay, but if I open it up and put the clips, it comes apart. Okay, and it won't be in the right spot anymore. So make sure that when you put your clips, that you don't open it all the way back up. That's why you see me doing it like at this. The one piece is not cooperating. Um, I don't open them back up. I keep it folded. At least at about a 45 degree. Don't don't open it more than say 45 degrees or so. Okay. They're very. I don't know why this side just looks off. I'm gonna try to seat it this way for a minute. I must have a lot of different sizes in this one. All right. Let's see. Play with the centerpiece just a little bit. And this grid paper. Try to keep it together. I like things to be, you know, in the right spots, <laughs> ideally. Sometimes it can be tricky, and it can be tricky to hold them together. But try to. We're good. I just got a couple of short pages on this one. Come here. All right, there. We'll clip that one later. So I'm gonna set these over here, and we're gonna work on our last signature. Okay, so we got to mark all of our holes on this, and we've got to mark our holes on this on the inside. All right, so I've got this little guide, and I've already gridded this out. Um, I'll show you. You can honestly, you can look back at my twenty other videos, probably, but I'll show you briefly. So what I do is I use grid paper to figure out where I want my holes, just because it's easier. I'm trying to find the cheat sheet. I'll use this anyway when I'm making my holes because it tells me which direction to go and I forget all the time. This is my cheat sheet. It tells me on my five hole pamphlet stitch where I start, which way the direction of the thread goes and things like that because I can never remember. I, I don't know if it's just I have a bad memory or what, but I can never remember. I have it marked on the top so that I know which is top. This is marked on the top. And the reason for that is simply that um, when you're making these holes, the distance from here to here might be just slightly off as it is from here to here. And if you don't mark the side that you were originally punch, that could end up being an issue if it gets turned around. So always mark your top. But using a grid, you can lay it out easier because you can use the little squares. Like I just counted so many squares down and then put a hole or a mark 
and then counted so many down and so forth and tried to kind of make it even. That's really all I do. And then I figure out my spacing. The spacing here was for a small journal. Um, it's very tight. But the spacing on this one, I've, I've left it really big because I knew that this was going to spread out a lot. So my spacing for this one, just figure out where you want your holes. And I'm going to keep that because I'm going to use it for a cheat sheet. But So this is where I ended up that I want my holes. They're not in here yet. I've just put little pencil marks as of right now. Okay, so there's all five of the pencil marks. And then I cut it. I size it to where it fits my journal. Um, this one's a little short, but it was the piece I already had, so I just left it, and I know to leave just like a eighth of an inch on each side. But it's going to go there, and it's it's like a two-inch spine is what I kind of left room for. It's a soft spine, but I tried to just kind of make sure that there was enough room for a two-inch spine. These pockets will come into it just a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not going to freak out about that. And then what you want to do is on your center holes... So this, I've drawn a line where it fits my journal pages. You see that line? That matches this so that I know that when I put that in here, if I match up that line, the holes will be the same spot on here. Okay? I hope that's clear. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is punch these center holes. And so you just, i got to punch all the holes in this, but you just fold this on your center you can make it another piece, but I usually don't bother. Some people do. I've seen some people do a, a separate piece, but I, I don't bother. So you can have something like this, or you can have a book cradle. I have like, like a homemade book cradle floating around here somewhere, but honestly, I never use it. A book cradle is basically a piece of wood that is like this, and it's got a gap in the middle that the holes can punch through. That's all it is. They sell them on Amazon, but I just, I don't usually use them. So we're going to put our holes. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and put all the holes because I'll need them. Try not to make them too super thick. So I usually go about to here on my, my awl because my awl gets very thick as it goes up. Some of them are about the same, but this one's not. So I have to kind of watch how deep I go on them. And you can kind of just hold your finger there, and that'll make it the same each time. Okay, so we're just punching our holes. This is just a piece of foam that I got from some packaging. I don't know what it was. Some, I feel like it was something from Ikea, but it could be wrong. Okay, so get your holes on there, and then you want to have your holes in this. Now, remember, you have to keep this... Um, folded when you put your holes. So we're going to put this in the center and we're going to line up. Sorry, I got to figure out how to maneuver this on camera. We're going to line up that line. So I'm just going to move this. Actually, I might add another one. It's, this one's not deep enough. I'm going to grab another clip. What do I got? Uh, this one, this will work. It's actually, it's so big. <laughs> I want my clips handy. Here, I have some of these kind. All right, let's try this. So I just want to hold it in place. I'm trying not to let it open up as I do this. I just want it to kind of stay together. These are really too big, but I'm going to try to use them. So I'm trying to keep that seated in there the same as it was when I'm pushed all these together okay so just I like to clip it I just think it's safer I don't know this is never gonna hold there oh my goodness these clips are huge I gotta buy me some more clips all right so you want to like that so it doesn't move okay and then you're just gonna punch these holes into this and you want it folded because if it's not folded at at least 45 degrees your hole won't be in the right spot because I, like I showed you, when this opens up, it changes the spot. So keep it folded. Find your hole. Okay. And then what I usually do is I just kind of fold it and push. And then I find the next hole. And I just push. 
try to go straight and you should come out right on the point of your paper. Okay, so do all of your holes. All right, and then you'll see your holes on this side and they should be right on that fold. If I hadn't kept that folded, they definitely would not be right on that fold. Okay, hey Angela. All right, so we've got our holes in there. And now um, I have to remove my template because I need it. So I don't want to remove these clips though, so nothing moves. The idea is not to let anything move. So I'm just going to take the template out. These will hold it still in place where it was. Set that aside for a moment. I'm going to put my holes in this. Okay, so I'm just going to set that over there for a second. This is easier. So remember, did I have that on the top? I'm assuming I did, but I'm going to double check it because I honestly wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm just going to look and make sure that it was on the top. I think it was, but I want to make sure. Yeah, it looks like it was. Okay. <laughs> I'm breaking my own rules. All right, so now I want to put this where it should be even. So, and I've got these little holes, and I also drew a line with a chalk pencil. So that I know where the center is on this thing. And this is going to come up above that grommet just a fraction. And then I'm just centering it because it's honestly, it's it's just a little, normally I would make it the exact same size, but I didn't. So, And I'm just going to make sure it's in the center. Okay, on my line. And I'm going to attach that with something better than what I have out. Maybe this. Let's try that. I'm just trying to keep that on the line. I need to have a couple of these. These aren't as strong. Double checking. Now this one I don't really have to worry about keeping it folded like I do the others because honestly it's it's just not going to, it usually doesn't go anywhere. I can't tell if that's not straight or if it's me. I think it's not straight. I don't think that one's strong enough. You know what? I'm just going to use this. These little, those little pink ones aren't very strong. I really don't want this moving because then my line will be completely off and I really want that center line straight. These are stronger. We'll use these. I had smaller ones of these, but I guess I've used them all up. I had the little, like, one-inch ones. I don't know where they ran off to. No clue. All right, so. I'm just going to make it centered. It doesn't look centered, honestly, because this has weird lines. But I'm pretty sure... <laughs> It's, it's bugging me because it really doesn't look centered, but I think it is. Yeah, it's right on that line, so it's good. It's just, I think it's just the weird lines of this. I'm just going to look on that and see if it looks like it's in the center of that grommet. Yeah, it's in the center. All right. We're going to trust it's in the right spot, even though it looks funny. <laughs> I'm going to trust it. And they should be in the same place. Now, these are going to be so much harder to see. So, I'm going to punch the holes. And if I can't see them, I might try to mark them with a chalk pencil or something. I'm trying not to go too deep because I don't want my hole super big. But the looser your hole is, then the more looser your journal will be. So, try to keep them, you know, reasonable. I think I got them all, but I'm going to try to see if I can see them. Yeah, see how hard it's going to be? I'm going to really challenge with this one because I put that lace on there before. I knew that was going to be a bit of an issue. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to just 
start with the back one. I'm trying to keep it in the right spot. I'm going to try to mark it. I wonder how I could mark it. Mm. I'm just trying to make sure it's throw me off so much guys all right let me find my chalk pencil if i can find it float around here somewhere there it is. i probably shouldn't have put the lace on first but i really wanted to so i'm going to attempt to mark these holes i hope that i can find them because <laughs> i don't know if i'm going to be able to it's going to be a bit of a challenge. It's amazing how hard it is to see. And that one is white, so I can't see it because it's white. Hold on. I'm a permanent marker or something. I don't know if that'll help. I hope I can find these holes. <laughs> Uh, sometimes you got to think about when you're doing these journal covers, what you're going to have to look through. This is not going through it. Oh, you got to lay it down. Guys, that looks so crooked. I know it's not. I've looked at it three times. I know it's not crooked. <laughs> it just looks crooked. It really does. Oh, I don't know if I can see this. This one's going to be, I can tell you right now, this one's going to be a challenge. Definitely going to be a challenge. It's just that coming back in hole that's going to be a challenge. The other hole, going the other way, won't be so bad. But this coming back in hole is definitely, it's going to challenge me. Because I can't see it. I can't see it at all. I may have to just stick the needle back through and... Trying to just mark that. I can't see the one I just did even. Hmm. All right, we're just gonna keep getting on. We're just gonna try. I'm not worry about you seeing these marks. On the thread will cover them up. All right, um, it's not helping a lot. Gosh, they just, they really disappear, guys. <laughs> they really do. It just really looks off, but it's not. It's totally straight. Okay. <laughs> it's right. It's just some reason it's messing with my eyes. It's that it's because it's a soft cover and a very wide soft cover. I'm never going to find that. All right, I'm just going to use the needle as I'm going because I'm never going to find these marks. I'm just not. So we'll try to use the needle as we go and hope for the best. And by needle, I mean my awl or something. Awl or a pokey tool or something. I've got a couple of different pokey tools I can stick through, and hopefully it'll work. <laughs> so that's all I can really do. So I'll pull this off. I should be able to see these inside ones. I hope it's just that outside one is going to be a pain. Okay. I can see the inside ones. 
just barely. I might mark them a little bit. I know I have a dark chalk pencil here somewhere. Where is it hiding? Is it this one? There it is. All right. These are not bad. I can see these pretty good. You won't see any of these whole marks, so. This one. Where's the? a little bit easier all right okay let's try this we are gonna go for it guys hope for the best I might be here two hours <laughs> oh my goodness all right this is my back one yeah I can tell because it's got the the magnifying glass on it all right so here's the deal I've got my cheat sheet for my five hole pamphlet stitch in a nutshell um, in through your center. Number two is in by center and then back in through here, down, and then you skip and you come up to, where's four? I don't know. We'll figure it out as I go because it always confuses me. Three holes are easier, but five holes are more sturdy, so we're going to do five. All right, so for length of thread, um, I find three times is, is safe. You could probably get away with two and a half, but I usually just, just do three. So one, two, and I always almost always have extra, but I would rather have too much than not enough. So I'm trying to find my scissors. All right, let's give this a shot, guys. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm totally nervous because it's, I lost my needle. There it is. All right, so thread my needle. So you just want a little bit out, enough that you've got a tail that won't pull your thread through, ideally. Okay, and um, we're just going to start. Okay, so in through the center. So center and keep it folded or you won't find the hole. Okay. You can't, I can't go through like that. I'm not going to find the hole. So it has to be folded and it should go right through. All right. If you're in the right spot and you've got it folded. So pull it through until it's just enough. We'll go about here. You just leave, you can leave it dangle or you can attach it. It's, it's up to you. Um, I like to attach it because then I don't have to worry about it falling off. The only catch is that sometimes when you attach it, it just gets in the way. But I'm gonna attach it, especially because this one's gonna be this one's gonna be a bugger. All right, so make sure you're the right direction. Very, very, very important before you start sewing in. Make sure you are the right direction and that your signature is not upside down. So this is my last one, so I'm gonna go through the last hole. All right, and by last hole, I mean the hole furthest to the um, right. All right, I'm just going to push that through. And I usually just leave it a little bit loose at this point. I'll tighten it as I go because otherwise I can't move things around. So in, out, next one is going to be down here. I'm just going to put that over there. Okay, so I'm going to come in this next hole, and this is where it gets challenging because i got to find it. So just bear with me as I flip things around and try to find my hole. I'm going to try to use my finger on there. I'm hoping I can just feel it, but we'll see. I'm not feeling it, so... Nope. All right. So 
just going to do what I said. I'm just going to poke that through so I can find the hole. And as I find the hole, I'll pull that back out. So I'm just going to use it to find my hole. And then poke that through. That's the only way I know how to do it, really. Boy, this is, it's got a lot of layers to go through. Okay, so there's that one. Turn it the right way so I know what I'm doing. So that was in. Next one is down to the next hole. Well, after we come back through. <laughs> Gotta come back through the middle first. So it should go. Keep it folded. It should poke right through, ideally. Sometimes it doesn't, but it should. You have to kind of hold it at an angle. Poke through. I can't do it upside down. I'm very right-handed. <laughs> Try it this way. Usually, your holes, it just goes through real easy. Sometimes it just bites you, though. I don't know if it just gets a little bit off. So you just got to kind of be patient. A lot of patience for someone in signature, guys. I will stress that. I'm not hitting that last little bit for some reason. I'm going to try to fold it more. I'm kind of peeking. Is that it? No, it's not liking that last little bit. I'm probably getting crooked as I go through. Oh, there it is. I hit it. <laughs> Finally. Sometimes. All right. So, we got that piece in there. Like I said, these little clips can get in the way, guys. Just patience. Lots of patience. Alright, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm leaving it loose. Alright, so I want to go back in here for this one. It's so much easier going this direction. But watch your clips, because it'll definitely snag on them. This direction's easy. Alright, so from three... Four is basically this hole we just went through. We got to come back in it the other side. That's where it gets a little tricky because you don't want to split your um, thread. So you have to kind of move your thread off to one side or the other, ideally, and then push it through just beside it lucky it'll go right through and you won't have any issue <laughs> I think I did good I'm trying to just make sure I didn't split it all right I didn't split it the reason you don't want to split it is because if I go through that thread as I'm coming through I'm just double checking this you can't tighten it if you do that it keeps you from tightening ideally you don't split your thread and I'm wondering if I did almost looks like I did guys I think I did catch just a tiny bit of it there. I'm trying to look at it. Oh, I think I did. Man, really? Why are you be in pain? <laughs> Why? I totally split it, guys. I'm trying to get back through so I cannot split it. If I can get through it. It's hard when you split it because then you're down with the tiny little fine bit. See, I think I got it. Let's see if that was it. Is that it? Okay, that was it. I'm good. Whew. All right, so that was four. Where am I? No, that was the right way. Where's my four? What? I, I can't see my four for nothing. Oh, there it is. All right, so four came out. Five, you skip the middle hole. And you go to the next hole up, okay? After we come through this. I always I keep forgetting that. So I gotta pull back through this too. That's gonna be another challenge. Don't split your thread. Like I just did. Am I gonna get it? Oh, it's going. I gotta go this way. You gotta figure out which way your thread is facing on the inside and go the other direction. 
Oh, come on. This is a hard one. <laughs> what is it hitting? All right, hold on. It's right there. It's just not having a hard time missing it. All right, let me try it again. Let's see if that was enough. Does anybody else have issues sewing in signatures? Is sewing in signatures easy for you or is it hard? Honestly, I almost always find it difficult. For some reason. All right, so in through the middle. I don't think I split it. I think I'm good. All right, and then to the next hole up top. I'm skipping that first one. Try to make sure I push it through with it folded. Okay, through there, and then find our hole. This is gonna take a while. Definitely gonna take a little bit. I keep falling out of the hole. Okay. Right through there. The next one should be there. And that was five. This is six. Okay. Let's see if I can find this hole because I know I can't. Where are you? Let's turn it around so I can see. Hopefully. I'm about to lose my tail. Okay, let's see. I might find this hole. center on this one. Is it going in? Yep, there it goes. Okay. In. And the next one. Okay, we'll come back through this one again. So you want to stay to the right of the thread. So my thread's going that direction. I want to make sure that I'm just beside it. Could have made it. It's it's long enough. I'm just not I'm losing my tail. On it. Okay, and then that was seven. Okay, I'll go through here. I'll decide which way I want to go. The thread is on that side, so I want to go to the right of the thread. So I try to kind of. Just squish it the direction that the thread is, and usually you don't split it, but it is challenging. It's challenging because honestly, I feel like you need six hands. And, all right, looks good. All right, so there's that one, and then we're back in the middle. Right, back in the middle. Like I said, it can be. Confusing. A lot of little holes. Hopefully I can see this. Because I've got the thread there now, so it does help you find the hole once you get some thread there. And I'm just feeling with my other finger. Let's see if I'm in the right spot. I'm not splitting. It doesn't look like it's splitting. Okay. And then through our signature. You want to look at this point and let that go so I can find it. And I want to push it this way and then come to my side of that thread. Keep it 
pushed over. Come on. It gets harder as it gets sewn in because it gets tighter. All right. I need more space. I'm gonna find the hole. I might have to throw the thing back through there. Oh my goodness. Again, I could have made that hole a little bit bigger. Doesn't wanna go through. Come on. Where are you? All right, try a different direction here. Where's my awl? I'm gonna use it. That one's too tiny. It's also not as sharp. Alright, let's see if I can find that now. Maybe I can find it. It's tricky. So tricky. Come on. Through for me. I think I got it. Whew. Making sure I didn't split. Alright, I think it's good. Alright, so now we gotta tighten everything up. So, ideally, you want one of these legs to be on one side of this center strand and one on the other side, okay? So you're basically straddling that center strand. And then you're gonna start tightening it down. Now you might have to finagle each little piece, especially if you did it and left a lot of room. Tweezers can be handy. So tighten it. And this is just takes figuring out which strand does what. Which sometimes is a challenge. I'm sure there's a method to it, but honestly I fail at it, so. I never can figure out which strand is which and which tightens which. Neither one of these are moving. I hope I didn't split one. There it goes. Okay. Where is that one? It's not there. It's gotta be there. <laughs> Can't figure out which one tightens that. Maybe it's this one. No? There it is. Okay, there, I'm uneven, but it doesn't matter. I left plenty. So once you get it tight, you just wanna look and make sure everything looks tight. You can check the back and you just kinda touch them like that. Usually if they're real loose, you'll know they'll move a lot. And try to get it as snug as you can. You don't really have to snug them in super, super tight at this point because what's going to happen is as you get all your pages in there, it will tighten up some. So I just do it as best I can and then I tie a little knot in the middle. And I usually leave some of this on here. So I'll cut some of it off, but I do leave a little bit dangle. That way if I want to put a charm or anything I can or if I have to untie it for any reason and fix it I have enough to work with so so there's one okay one signature is in it looks straight because I got my straight line there so I think we're good you can pull your clips off and then I get to do that two more times <laughs> it's hard it's not easy I'm not gonna lie some people are like oh so one signature and it's easy I'm, I, I don't know who you are but it's not easy I, I don't find it easy I don't know. <laughs> Maybe everybody else finds it easy, but not me. I struggle almost every time. Unless I'm doing a really, really simple three-hole pamphlet stitch and there's not a lot of bulk and the fabric isn't colored or textured, then maybe I don't find it difficult, but otherwise I totally do. All right, so I'm just gonna clip this.
I don't think I have holes in this one yet. Can't remember what I did. So. Just making sure it's nice and seated. And that will help you. It, the more seated it is, the easier it will be to get your needle through in the right spot. All right, make sure it is the right direction. We are the right direction. And then we want to put our holes. Make sure I'm on the top. I don't think I put holes in here. I'm trying to see. I don't think I did. Where's my all? Did I? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't feel any, so I'm guessing I didn't. I think I just did the one, right? That's what I'm thinking. All right, so we're going to seat this, matching up our line. Same thing as I did last time. Like I said, the better seated it is, the more likely your lines will add up. I'll try to use these. They're smaller, a little bit easier to deal with. Where's the other one? I'm just going to steal it off of this other one. I gotta figure out where all these went, guys. I had a whole package of them. I shouldn't have lost them all already. <laughs> Can't believe I used them all. I don't know what I would be sticking them on around the house. Something, I guess. All right, so nice and seated, right direction. It's on the top. Lots of little things you check. And then poke your holes with it at a folded angle. And they should hit in the right spot. There's one. There's two. Three. I'm going a little bit bigger. Four. And five. All right. Let's see. I am going to make these holes just slightly bigger. Just just because I fought so much last time, I feel like they might need to be just a tiny bit bigger. So I'm going through like, oh gosh, three, four layers here. I've got two layers of fabric, and then I've got that Amazon package in there. So I've got a lot of layers here to go through and hit in the same spot. <laughs> All right. Get our thread. So one, two, three. Like you saw how much extra I had. So that's it's more than enough, but I've just it's easier for me to have more than enough. <sighs> okay. Breathe. <laughs> don't forget to breathe. As you're getting stressed out, someone in your signature, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> if you're like me, you're holding your breath the whole time. Take your little template off because you don't want to sew it in there. That would be that would be no fun. Then you'd have to tear it up and make a new one. <laughs> so you take your little template off. Start in the middle. And you start in the middle if you want your thread to end up in the middle. If you want your thread to end up on the outside, you start on the outside. That's typically the only thing you really have to think about. Okay, and I just think it's easier to start from the back because if I start from the front, then I'm having to always flip that out of my way to get to it. This way, it's it's laying in, underneath, and it's not. It's usually not a problem or in my way. Okay, so one, and then still using my cheat sheet, guys. <laughs> it's like I kind of know, but I kind of don't. You think I can find that hole? I doubt it. I'm trying to use my finger. That's a guide. Think that would work? Probably not. I just I can't see it. I cannot see it at all. It's so dark. Dark fabrics are always a challenge. I should have known that. And <laughs> didn't you, Dorothy? I think she's on. She's like, you sure you want to put your lace on already? I'm like, yeah, sure I do. Uh, now I'm like, okay, maybe I should put my lace on already. I can't find this hole at all. Oh my god. <laughs> all 
All right, let's stick the oil back through there so we can find the hole. I think it's funny. She was just like, you sure you want to do that, you know? <laughs> and I kind of did because I just wanted it on there, but honestly, it might have been easier not to have done it first. All right, so that was two. Let me see my direction. I think I just come All right. back in this way. It should be this one, right? Yeah. Find the hole. Yeah. Are you hiding? There you are. I love it when it goes through, guys. <laughs> it's it's such a feeling of joy when it goes right through like butter. It doesn't happen a lot. All right, now we head back up through there. Let's see if I can not split my thread this time. So pull that out of the way. Pull this over this way. Kind of look on both sides of your needle and see if you see any black thread. You can usually tell, especially on the darker threads. All right, which way is that one going? All right, that one's going on that way, so we want this side. All right, this one's gone. Good. Okay, and then I think we. See Skip the middle, let me think. We just came out from there. Five is down there. Yeah, you skip the middle. Always confuses me. I don't feel like I should be skipping it, but I do. Alright. Oops. <laughs> Lost my needle again. Goodness gracious. At least these are easier to thread. I say that and then I won't be able to get it thread. It's starting to split on me. Because it's waxed, it's usually not too bad. I feel like I'm, I've am i left a lot, so I don't have a lot of room here. So I've kept it kind of loose because honestly it's just easier. Okay, that one. Top hole should be there. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> Thought I had it. Is that it? Yeah. And then middle. Don't lose your tail. <laughs> About did it again. I'm running out of room. All right, and then in through there. I keep turning because it's just easier for me. Okay. And through that one. And let's see if we can, which way does that go? Stay over there. Stay over there. Okay. Ooh, my tail got short. <laughs> to make sure I tighten it the right direction. All right, that one. I don't know if I can find it or not. Let's see. I think I can. Oh, I'm half 
blind, I can't see. Is this splitting? No. Okay. <laughs> Out of room, guys. Which way does that one go? That one goes. Did that go a little faster? Maybe? All right, I felt like it did. All right, now I gotta tighten those up because actually they're relatively even. All right, but we're gonna try to tighten it and go the right direction. Because it always, I don't know why, I never can figure out which way's which. My fingers, my fingers are so dry, they're trying to break on me. No. No. <laughs> Look at that. It's totally split. Alright. I can't figure out which one is this one. It's not that one. It's not that one. Alright. <laughs> which one are you? You gotta be one of those. <sighs> One of these days I'll figure out the rhyme or reason as to which thread it is. There it is. But right now I just never seem to be able to. Where's that one going? Nope, I don't want to go that way. Go this way. This one. What makes that go smaller? It's just really tight. guys. Which one is it? <laughs> uh, I'm really struggling here. I can't figure out which one that is. It's got to be this one. Yep. All right. There. Now, which one's that one? <laughs> no. There it is. Okay. Whew. Okay on each side of okay let's see how that looks all right looks good no one's longer than the other but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna cut it anyway Make sure all the pages are where they should be. Nice and seated. One, two, okay. Where's my template? go. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> right, top, top.
Okay, poke our hole. Looks good, okay. One. Counting is it? Sorry, it's honestly, it's a OCD thing of mine. I always count. I'm sure I have some sort of autism of some sort. I count everything, guys. I count stairs, I count my steps. I just count when I do everything. I don't know why, but I do. All right, last one. Make sure it's the right direction. Get our thread. You are on the phone. That's all right. That's what replays are for, hun. Best to spend that time with an old friend, for sure. Hey, Dorothy. I was just talking about you, girl. <laughs> All right. The right direction, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> Dorothy, I was just saying that you told me not to put that black lace on there. <laughs> that I should wait, and I didn't. And I'm regretting it, because it is impossible to see my holes. It's so hard. I'm going to have to make those holes bigger. They're really small. happen to hit on a little bit of white spot there. the one that always tries to get split on me. Oops. <laughs> Keep snagging 
on things. <laughs> like I said, the clips can be a little annoying sometimes, but they're a necessary evil. Sure, I did all right. That's five, six, seven, right? Yeah, I think that's right. All right, let's see if I can find this hole. all again. This one's right on that black lace. I can't I can't see it. Alright. <laughs> My daughter's in there singing. Hopefully you can't hear her. Sometimes you have to look and see which direction that. It's not quite where I want it to be. Hold on. It's it's grabbing the fabric in the wrong spot. To catch your thread, your fabric, which I did. I'll try to go back under it. Alright, I think I got it. Right. I'm gonna clip it so I can pull that thread out of my way. everything up. Let's see if I can do it this way, mostly. Sometimes you can, sometimes it's just too much to get through. It just won't. Yeah, it's not, not tight. All right, let's play with it. This one or this one? This one. There. Now, I can't 
came back under. <laughs> Stay on your side. Right, let's check for tightness. I think I need to tighten it just a fraction more. It's not too bad there, but it looks loose right there. Let's see if I can get that to tighten down. did it. Yay. Okay. Let's get the clips off. in. This is how it is without everything. With everything it's it's a little thicker. It's about there. And then here's our spine. And so we've got the black lace which will just kind of blend in. It just doesn't show. But I think we're good. All right, let's get all the stuff back in it. So we've got our little pile. I'll start at the back because I think that's where I finished. Might have to grab my clips if, they get, if it gets annoying on me. Sometimes it's because I've got it so full, so it might get a little annoying. All right, guys. So that's sewn in a pamphlet stitch, five hole pamphlet stitch. It can be a challenge. I'm not going to lie. It can be, but it's worth the effort because, you know, in the long run, it's going to, it's going to hold a whole lot longer. And, um, it's, I just think it's worth the effort, even though I, I almost always struggle and, you know, there's that, but I would rather struggle now and have it last longer. So I'm just going to throw everything back in here and this journal will be done. And Dawn will be excited. I can get it mailed to her. Where is Tubo? Is it back there? Did I miss it? It's way up here. You know that's oh it's a Z, that's why. It's not a two. I thought it was a two. I was confused. Alright, so let's untape these. Like I said, this might cause me some problems. <laughs> Usually my low tack tape isn't too bad, but I, these are inkjet, so I'll go slow. <laughs> Hopefully I won't damage them. The ink is definitely not as good as like a laser jet. Alright, 
X and Y. This is a full journal for sure. keep saying I'm going to save all these little stickies and use them the next time I do a journal and I always forget. I just don't think about it. It's, they'll still stick over and over, but I never think to save them. I probably, I may even have some saved somewhere, but I just don't think about it. was a fun draw for y'all. Nobody said what they wanted to see next time. Y'all need to tell me what you want to see next time. You have any thoughts? I mean, you don't have to tell me. I can figure it out on my own, but if there's some sort of journal y'all have been waiting for, let me know. I don't know where these were exactly. Some were longer, so I got to think about that. I feel like this one was up here. This would have been another short one, so not there, here. And this one here. And this one here. There. are quiet today. Either that or I'm not seeing chat. You never can tell. Uh-oh. <laughs> Was that O or... I think it was O. N? This must be N. <laughs> my pile is getting insane these out of my way. Maybe I'll save some. I don't know. Honestly. I should. I really should. Okay. M. behind the belly band. These maybe there. There or there? No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I did. It doesn't really matter, but it kind of does. I don't know where this was. This would have probably been on the top. What am I missing? I'm missing something. Hold on. I'm confused. Right, I know. There's two things here. I just don't know if I used them both. Maybe I did. Which one's smaller? Did I use them both? Maybe I did. <laughs> All right. This goes in the back here. That goes there. And then which 
whichever one's the shortest would be on the top, logically. Like that, and then this one, I think, was here. I'm just guessing, guys. I really don't know. I'm a guessing. All right, there. Good enough. I. These are little roses. G. Where's G? Oh, there it is. There's also a one here. We'll be on it. Okay. All right, and then our other pockets. These have the little books in them. I'm just putting one on each side. And then let's see if this still fits here. Looks like it will. Good. Okay, so that will still fit there, or it can go here. Okay? Either place is fine. And then we got our little sheet with all the information floating around here somewhere. There it is. It just has all of the details, stamps, and stuff like that. I don't know if that'll fit. We'll fold it one more time. That's good. Put it there. All right. And I've signed it. You can't see it very well, but it is signed down here. Handmade by Elisa Bonesteel. And that is it. So that is our journal. And Dawn, I will get that in the mail to you, hopefully tomorrow. That is the goal. Just got to get it packaged up. Okay. It's not too gator mouth. Look at that. I did a good job. I got the size just right. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I will be back on Wednesday. Um, the plan is to start a painting. Um, the plan is to do a, I think a bluebird is what I decided. I just got to pick which one. And um, I have certain pictures that photographers have given me permission to paint live um, using their photo live because you have to get special permission for that. I can't just use any, any artwork. Okay, so I'll pick through there and we'll do some, some painting on Wednesday and then Friday we'll start, the goal is to start a new journal. So I got to figure out what theme I want to do next. All right, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed that process and um, I will see you next time, guys. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. All right. Bye-bye.